Welcome friends to the Beaver Dam. Today we're talking about farms and farms that you should finish. Now, how do you know what farms you should finish and that you need to finish? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I've had a lot of people, you know, throughout all of our roster reviews, we talk a lot about the fact that we're, you know, going after this, going after that. We're always chasing the new thing. And sometimes we got to take a step back and stop chasing the new thing. And I know that's hard. I really do. Trust me. I get it. I get it. This is my, uh, this is my Jedi Master Luke. Uh, do you see how many little... Uh, how many requirements I have left? I only have four left right now. Um, I'm alternating this and Inquisitors. If I wasn't alternating this and Inquisitors, my requirements would be done right now. Uh, if I hadn't taken a, what, let's see, it's June right now. I've had almost all the requirements done for JML for almost six months now. Like, I've taken a break to get Gungans. I've taken a break to get Mommy Mandalore. I've taken a break to fix my Imperial Trooper team to fix my, and I still need to work on my Imperial Trooper team, to fix my Darth Revan team. I've taken a lot of time to fix a lot of my teams and a lot of my fleets because I'm in Kyber now. <clears throat> And so, you know, taking that time so you don't have to take a six month period like that is very important. You should be doing it between all your big projects. Uh, sometimes you can just push multiple big projects in a row and that's great, especially for early on players where they're like, you know, just desperately going, you're gonna go and get minimum requirements and that's totally fine. You get those minimum requirements and you call it a day and that is, that is fine. That is how I played the game and it's good for the first couple big projects, like getting your first GL, getting maybe even your second GL, just pushing one wreck after another but after a time you gotta start pushing those side farms otherwise you're going to end up just getting farther and farther and pined and you're gonna have to take more and more time when you do go around to it don't don't end up like me don't spend six months sitting here not farming uh whatever's cool to you uh take the time in between your farms you know finish a gl work on a couple people but we're getting a little off topic here we want to talk about who you should do and the thing that i have here for you guys is i want you to remember this this right here is very important this right here is a fork and why is a fork important you may ask why is this beautiful implement this dining implement important it's very important because it'll help you remember what you should farm okay so fork First things first, we're gonna go with factions. So the first things you're gonna look through is factions. So the F in fork is factions. So uh, these are a couple of the most slept on factions that I see. Um, this doesn't mean these are all the factions, but any faction that you have worked on, I want you to go through and make sure you have the team finished. And so right here, just looking at these three teams that are the most slept on teams for when it comes to faction finishing, um, I don't even have the Imperial Troopers finished. I have Dark Trooper finished, which is a great great first step because that means I can kill almost everything but not being able to throw a data cron especially during some of these sets like when we had the 400% offense cron it would have helped me a ton I was able to do it in 3v3 but in 5v5 I got cheesed out of it so <clears throat> already right here I can immediately be like okay Moff Gideon range trooper is added to my list of people to finish which I have in my in need of erection tab that you can see uh, right there um, because I understand that this is something that I need to work on and so it's on the list of things to work on uh, you'll notice that all the things that I have in these lists are things that I have to work on if they are things uh, I have a couple stuff in here that's just examples for you guys like obviously I have gas basically finished I'd like to relic seven gas you know Darth Revan I'd like to relic seven Darth Malak and you know push the relic levels a bit more on the team but Finished. Finished enough to work really well and to have Datacrons. Now, Fork, you know factions, so go look at all of your factions. Every single one that you know of that's in your roster. If you're like, oh yeah, I got a Piet for my executor, go look at your Imperial Troopers. All of a sudden you have farms to work on. Now, you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I got a Darth Revan at one point. Um, you know, I, I got the Revan. Did I ever take the time to finish leveling up? Did I take the time to go get that, you know, beautiful, beautiful Malak to go with him? Did I take the time to get a full five-person set of team? No one does for some reason and it drives me crazy because it's one of my favorite teams in the game. Anyways, I'm getting off topic, but factions, 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 check your factions. Uh, next up is the O in this beautiful fork we have in here, and that is over-invested and under-invested. So over-invested and under-invested, uh, I'm saying together. So you did something that you've over-invested in yet under-invested in. Right here, I have over-invested in Azori Bliss. I have two Zetas and an Omicron, and yet I've under-invested on her overall. She's seven star, but she's only 
only gear nine. And so right there, I have an overinvestment in the character. Yes, does she do a lot at this level? Yes. Would I love to be able to throw a Datacron on her uh, team, especially when the Holdocron is going around? Like, you know, would I love to be able to get a little bit better holds because, you know, a strong AoE or Breeze isn't going to knock out the Zori? Yes. Do I still get holds? Yes, and I appreciate that. But that's not the point. It is something that I need to work on. It, too, is under my In Need of Erection teams. Uh, we got Ben Solo here. This is one that you can see is my current goal. This is the side project I have because I'm working on Jedi Master Luke and I'm working on Inquisitors. Well, I have all have all the characters up to Relic level. I just, uh, you know, just need to get them enough Relic levels. And so I've got some time. So what am I doing? I'm working on Ben Solo because getting him done before the Holocron goes away is very important to my defense. And so he's up on the list because I had a Zeta and I had an Omicron on him. I just hadn't invested in him because all of a sudden the holdocron came around and i was like oh i can push that back for a while and so i had an over investment but i under invested on the character same with captain rex he's been sitting at gear 12 for far too long and i know a couple more characters i could throw in this list i'm not going to because i have my in need of erection tab so the o and fork it's very very important you're over invested under invested characters so take a look at that go through your uh, list of characters see if there's anyone with zetas with omicrons that you just haven't finished maybe you have a gear 12 savage yes i am talking to basically everyone that i do roster is to <laughs> please relic the savage <laughs> <laughs> going into the R because the R is very important as well uh, we have recently acquired and so I want you to go through your recently acquired this doesn't doesn't just mean recently acquired characters like Malgus Malgus is a recently acquired character for me I got him this last proving grounds which is very awesome he's a great character I want him up he's a peepee -pee for me honestly and he's going to be next on the list on oh, oh <laughs> after Ben sorry my Tongue's deciding not to work tonight. After Ben, I'm going to go hard into Malgus. Uh, it's going to be a very fun farm for me. I'm excited. I love the Sith Empire faction. I'm excited to get this character up. And he's a recently acquired character. And I'm putting him a little above other ones just because he is that PP. And there's nothing wrong with a little PP. Passion projects are good for the health of the game. Now, that being said, this includes legendaries. So make sure you're taking a look at the legendaries. You have here a Bo-Katan Mandalore. Uh, this is the requirement that you got for Bo-Katan Mandalore and I love Mommy Mandalore I love her very much, I am part of the 2% but there's something missing here and that's a 5th member uh, and so what I'm going to have to do is go and yes I did this already for my account but uh, you know this is something that's important for other people's account. Get Baby Bo. Baby Bo's going to be that important fifth that'll make this team pop off. And so take a look at your recently acquired legendaries, whether it be Darth Revan, whether it be Malak, whether it be Gas. Make sure you have that Arc Trooper for your Gas. Finish out your 5-0 first, you know? Take a look at your recently acquired legendaries and characters and make sure that they are who you yeah, who you have fully finished. Their team, you aren't just abandoning them. You aren't just chasing the character and then you're like, oh, I don't want to play with you anymore, and then just drops it. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't make don't make Malgus feel bad. Don't make Mommy Mandalore feel bad. Go and get their full team. You know, don't relic Darth Malgus and then don't get Darth Revan. That would pain my soul. Yes, I've seen it in rosters before. So <clears throat> there you go. We are at F O R. If you've played horse before and you've shot some basketball hoops, you know that there's one more letter in this word. Or maybe you just are literate and know that Fork has four letters, and that's the K. And that is killer characters. Killer characters are vitally important to your overall account. These are characters that will either absolutely change a faction and absolutely give you some amazing tools in your roster, or these are characters that are by themselves will take out so much for you. And so obviously Wampa, Savage are those characters that are solos. They're one character worth five people. You know, I could have thrown on this list... Uh, Imperial Super Commando and Gar Saxon, uh, still one of those things. It's like two characters, non Chirotech characters, and I get them to take down a team of five. That's amazing. I love that. Treya completely changes the Sith faction in general. You can just throw her with some garbage Sith. You can throw her with whoever, and she's going to do some good stuff. Doesn't matter what you're doing, it's going to be great. Uh, you know, Treya takes down GLs with this Omicron and everything. So, 
take a look at these things that could lift your factions and w things that could make you really, really pop off with just a 1v5. Darth Bane obviously is the king of the game at this point. I was going to say king of Grand Arena, but honestly, he's the king of everything. He beats basically everything with his Datacron. Without his Datacron and GAC, he basically still beats everything. Um, and then, you know, outside of GAC, he beats like three or four GLs fairly easily. And then, you know, he, he can maybe do a couple others. Like, he's insane. He's amazing. Don't sleep on him. Don't leave him in your roster. He should not be gear eight. So here is your overall thing. This is your fork. Don't lose your fork. Your fork is very important. This fork is your life. Factions over invested, under invested. Recently acquired and killer characters. Take a look at your account. Take a look. You know, I I can give you a roster review and I can look through your account and tell you what you need to finish your farms. And it's funny because like sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, there's a little bit of finish your farms in here. And that's because I've checked over this fork, this beautiful fork. And, you know, you've got maybe a Wampa that's gear 12 with an Omicron. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you have an over-invested, under-invested character in here. You know, you need to get that finished. But when I'm seeing on all four of these problems i'm seeing you not finish your sith empire i'm seeing you have a gear 12 savage i'm seeing a gear 8 uh darth bane i'm seeing a trey left at gear 12 for years okay not years but you know it's been like six months and you still haven't relic your your treya even though she's a rise of the empire requirement and you need her to survive otherwise your team falls apart like the, this stuff is super super important so take a look at these take a look at your factions take a look at your under under invested over invested characters uh your recently acquired your killer characters and come up with a plan for when you're going to do those characters make a priority list i have that in need of erection i have it set up from top to bottom of like oh this is the most important to least important and over time i just check things off the list like right now i'm working on that jml those inquisitors for my guild and i'm like oh i have plenty of gear lying around i've got plenty of raid one currency lying around what am i going to work on i could work on my next farm true uh and it would hurry up my profundity but honestly profundity is not that hard for me like it's just you know i'm pretty dang close already i might as well fit in a couple characters that i've been pushing off for a while so find those in between moments and make sure you don't have to sit here for six months and fix farms like i have done Luckily, I've gotten some cool stuff because CG's dropped some stuff as well, and that's partially the reason that I've been taking this long. But regardless, don't end up like me. Don't put off your farms. It It's going to help your account in the end, and you're going to feel much more stable in an area because when you go to swago.gg and you're sitting there being like, oh, Darth Revan beats that? Sick! And then you take Darth Revan against it and you lose, that's probably because you didn't finish your farms. You didn't finish the characters. You know, you're looking at people who relics all of the sith empire and you're like oh this works sure let's go in there and do it but it's not going to work for you because you didn't invest yourself so make sure you're taking that time to invest and all invest and always remember your fork it's vitally important that you have your fork uh, you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions about the fork and this fork it's specifically, it's a very nice fork. If you have questions about it, please start in the comment section. I always love seeing your comments. I always love responding. And if you guys need help, you can always hang out in the Discord. We got lots of lovely people there to help out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.